Wednesday morning in the middle of July, and I opened my eyes and the sun was shining in the bright blue sky, and I said, today is the day I play my bigger game. Gulp. <gasps> I'm feeling the gulp, but it was only an ephemeral feeling. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to do it anyway, and I stepped on the game board. So I'm playing my bigger game. Well, I'm playing my bigger game, but what is it actually doing? It's feeding my hunger. It's feeding the hunger that I have and have had my whole life for making sure that every single human being that I meet knows they make a difference. So my hunger had to be fed. Hunger is really great, but we need to have a compelling purpose. We need to think and realize what is it that we want to do and what is the purpose. So I decided to feed my hunger. I would put on the largest women's conference in San Mateo County. And I would imagine that it would be a conference with 250 women at least that would come together, that would be in conversation, having different economic and different social and different ethnic backgrounds to know that they make difference. Is it compelling enough for me to keep playing my game? For me, you betcha. My compelling purpose. I went, oh my God, gulp. I have to make this come real now. And so what I needed to do is I needed to start taking some bold action. Because if I didn't take bold action, you know what? It would just be old action. And would not get <laughs> me to feed my hunger. So I knew I had to take some bold action. So great, bold action. Gulp. That means I have to do something that is outside of myself. But guess what? I decided that in order to feed my hunger and make my compelling purpose become real, I'm going to find some allies. I don't have to play this bigger game all by myself. I can actually invite other people to come on the game board with me. So I got on my computer and I sent an email out to about 25 women that I thought would be really interested in doing something like this and sent it off. A week later, at my front door, there were three women. Only three women. But you know what? They were the right ones. So I got allies and started with three women and we created a committee of 15 team to put together this conference. So I found my allies. Well, another thing on this game board that I needed to do is that I really needed to somehow get out of my comfort zones. And my biggest comfort zone was, I don't know how to do this. I can hardly even put together a dinner for four people, let alone plan a conference, which I have never done before in my entire life. So I had to leave the comfort zone of, I don't know how to do this. Comfort zone. So in order to leave my comfort zone of, I don't know how to do this, such as, I don't know how to raise money for a conference like this. I don't know how to market something like this. I don't know how to get speakers. I don't know how to get vendors. I know nothing about this. So I had to step out of my comfort zone, go into some bold action, feel the gulp and do it anyway, and make an investment in myself. I had to learn how to do these things. I had to learn from my allies, or I had to find an ally that would do it. So, <laughs> investment. What I had to do to make my bigger game happen, I had to invest in myself to learn something I didn't know how to do. So, playing my bigger game, taking lots of bold action, and getting into my hunger time and time again and my compelling purpose and visioning that. Visioning 250 women together in conversation, deep, deep conversation for the day. I got tired. I got really tired. This was a really big game for me. This was really stepping out of my comfort zones. And so one of the things I had to do was I had to find somebody else who was just as invested in the game as me. I had to find a co-player. I had to find 
night with lots of other people who knew how to market, who knew how to fundraise. But I also had to take time for me. And by finding the other people, I was able to take time for me. So what I needed to do, I needed to get into sustainability. So I had to have the ability to sustain myself. I had to have the ability to also sustain my game because we wanted this to go on and on. We didn't just want it for this one year. So sustainability was something I needed to do. And then all throughout, all throughout the months that we were planning, we constantly had to take a look and assess every single thing we did. Was my hunger strong enough to keep me going? Was my compelling purpose strong enough to have other people put money in, to have other people come and speak for nothing, to have other people come and vendor? Was my compelling purpose enough to bring other people in? Go. Investment. Allies, sustainability, and bold action. I had to keep assessing it all, but especially bold action. Because I had to be sure that I was taking bold action on every single one of the pieces on this game board. Otherwise, my game would not become a reality. So assess. So bold action and hunger. My hunger was fed. My hunger was fed with a conference of over 250 women coming into San Mateo County from all different socioeconomic and ethnic backgrounds. Coming in and having a conference and being in deep conversation and forming allies themselves. So go, you bet. Do it anyway, you bet. So the question I have for you is what is the hunger that you have that you can actually feel the goal and do it 